Hi, this is Mark Wiltshire. I'd like to thank you for downloading the first episode of the Explore Finland radio show. And I wanted to take a little bit of time today just to explain a little bit about why I've recorded this show and also what you might expect over the forthcoming weeks, months and hopefully years. Um, I've now been connected to Finland uh, through my wife for the last 15 years uh, and I've been living here now sort of full time for the last three years. Um, And I've always thought that Finland doesn't really sell itself. Uh, Not the way that I know the country. Uh, Whenever I was at home in the UK, you'd see a news story come on TV and it would talk about all the funny contests that take place, you know, swamp football and mobile phone throwing and wife carrying and all all these things, which are which are fun, but they're not representative of the country that I know. I also know a few people from the UK that have made the Christmas trips to Rovaniemi to uh, track down Santa Claus and they've done the reindeer rides and snowmobile rides and things like that and they all have a a fantastic time and they all have really positive image of Finland Um, but it also does kind of lock that image of the country to being a kind of dark snowy Christmassy place and what I I think you'll you'll discover over over the course of the next year is that that Finland is very much a country for all seasons. And I hope to be able to bring some perspective on that to to all of you that are listening as well. In the summer of 2013, I I lost my previous job, and I found that the easiest way for me to get back into the workplace here in Finland full-time was to start my own company. And in January of 2014, with a, a few business partners, we founded a company called Export, and we're here to help local manufacturing companies in the Esselapohjama region and beyond to take their their products overseas. During the course of this year, I've made a lot of contacts within the Seinejoki region. The town that I live in is Seinejoki. And also learned lots of new business ideas. I've made a point of trying to learn about new new ways to market our company and uh, a new ideas for how to how to grow that business during the course of some some business meetings during during summer this year a few separate things occurred that just gave me the seed of the idea for this podcast uh, i was having a conversation with a friend of mine and we're both english guys living here in in Sanioki, and the the conversation got round to tourism and we we thought that or we discussed how we as non Finns see what's on offer in Finland with completely different eyes to people who have lived here all their all their lives. And and Paul's comment was um, often regions will market market their attractions based on the theme parks and the zoos. And his words were, well, everywhere has theme parks and zoos, but there are so many other uh, natural attractions that that Finland offers that, that other countries don't and and that's something that that should be that should be used to to try and encourage people to come and visit the country. I, I think it's very true that, that nowadays there are more and more people living in cities and becoming more and more detached from nature and and having the opportunity to to get out of the city and go and visit a, a country that has 10,000 lakes and 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 so much natural um, countryside that you can that you can use and explore uh, would be appealing and also not everybody wants a sunny holiday or if they do want a sunny holiday maybe they don't want to go to the sunshine every single time they go away and, and coming somewhere where there's outdoor activities and and the chance to be healthy and and experience a different lifestyle I think would be interesting then in then later in the summer uh, we attended a meeting and there was a speaker from Finpro and Finpro is a, a business uh, government run business organization that's that's in place to help Finnish companies to to make contacts and to network overseas and we learned that this organization was going to be broken up and restructured in a certain degree and and now what's what's happened is that what remains of this organization is kind of divided into three three sections uh 
export Finland, invest in Finland and visit Finland. So it seemed that there was going to be a renewed a renewed emphasis on trying to encourage people to come back to come to, come to visit Finland. Um, and then and then shortly after, uh, a, an airline called Snowbird that organises some charter flights uh, up to up to Lapland and to other parts of uh, Finland. There were a few news stories about how they were interested in trying to generate more air traffic into the Etelapokimma region. And there's a an airport in Seinjoki itself that's hardly used at the moment, certainly for uh, for commuter traffic or, or for passenger traffic. Um, so all of all of these things came together at, at the same time that I heard a uh, one of these a, a business podcast that I've been listening to that was talking about recording your own podcast and if you're interested in recording your own podcast how to find a unique voice what what do you have to say that others might be interested in and so you can see how several of the things that I talked about now along with the fact that I've been listening to podcasts myself for six years now suddenly gave me the inspiration to record this show so what is what is the Explore Finland radio show going to be about? Well, it's going to be about me as a foreigner living here in Etelä Pohjanmaa, interviewing a different guest each week who can introduce me to their hobby or pastime or um, interest, There's an aspect of, of their life that they're happy to share with me and to share with you listening. Um, I want this to be a... Preferably a Finnish person, but but not necessarily. It can be someone living here in Etelapohjama. I I want to for you to hear lots of different voices, not just mine. Uh, lots of different accents, um, and and to get a feel from the people that I meet and that I speak to for what what else there is here in in this region. This will this will be kind of discovering the nature culture activities and sports in Etelapohjama as a as a microcosm of Finland itself the activities that go on in this region will also be available elsewhere in Finland as well I've, I've no doubt if you're if you're listening to this and you are you're living in Etelapohjama and you have an interesting hobby or you know somebody that does something either unusual or very normal it, it really doesn't matter um Please make contact through Facebook page, Twitter, um, on the, through the website. There, there are many, many places you can you can find me, and I'll, I'll give you some addresses at the end of this uh, recording. They don't have to be well known people at all. Any anybody that's that's interested in talking to me and sharing their their activity that would be that would be really appreciated. And also, if you're overseas and you're you have an interest in Finland for whatever reason, uh, your your family originally comes from here, or or somebody you know has has married somebody from Finland, and you want to want to know a little bit more about everything in general, then, you know, keep listening and hopefully I'll, I'll bring that to you. Uh, but also if you've got something particular you'd like me to look into, then again, make contact, let me know and I'll, I'll see what I can find out for you. To support this podcast, I've also, uh, I've got a website, naturally. Um, if you search for the explorefinlandpodcast.com, uh, there will be some additional content on there. I'm planning to have show notes for each episode of the show that I release, um, giving some of the, some of the information that we talk about with each guest each week, some links to some useful resources, maybe a few photos from the day that we were recording, uh, and also a glossary of some of the Finnish words and terms that that we talk about in the shows. Uh, so it kind of builds up a little bit of a, a dictionary of, of things that you're, you can uh, refer back to at a, a later date. Uh, I'd also be ha- having a, a keeping a journal on the website, a kind of a blog, shorter articles, just to add a bit of a bit of colour, a bit of flavour to each episode of the show. Stories that don't necessarily warrant a, a whole half an hour episode of, of me talking about it but that might be interesting to you that are, are listening at home um so 
please feel free to, to check that out and uh, you can subscribe to my mailing list. On the mailing list, I intend to email the show notes every week. So you've listened to the show uh, and you can check out the show notes. But if you subscribe, then I'll email them to you at the time that I publish the next show. So you'll that will give you an idea. You'll see the email and you'll, you'll know there's a new show and I can go and check it out. So I think that pretty much wraps up today's show. Thank you very much for listening and I, I hope you enjoy um, the, the forthcoming shows that I've got lined up. If you want to show your support, please just take a minute to uh, rate and review the show through the iTunes program or whatever, whatever program it is that you found me on. Uh, this will help me raise the the profile of the of the show. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the mailing list if that's interesting, and just spread the word to your friends and your your family. Use use social network. If you go to the website and look at the the, the tab that says connect, there's lots of different ways there that you can connect with the show uh, on social media. I hope that what I've described to you sounds interesting. Every show won't just be me talking about me. I uh, assure you. And I look forward to having you come along and explore Finland with me. So thanks for listening and uh, on with the first episode. Thanks very much.